Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Cloud South Africa Demo Center. Today, I will show you some superstar cloud services in Huawei Cloud Container family. They are Cloud Container Instance CCI, Application Service Mesh ASM, and Multi Cloud Container Platform MCP. First of all, let's see what is CCI, Cloud Container Instance. It is a serverless container engine that allows you to run containers without creating or managing server clusters. With the serverless architecture, you can focus on building and operating applications without having to create or manage servers or worrying about server health. All you have to do is to specify resource requirement such as required CPU cores and memory space. This gives you more focused approach to business needs and help you reduce management and maintenance cost. Traditionally, to run containerized workloads using Kubernetes, you need to create Kubernetes server cluster first. And that is not the case with CCI. Under the serverless architecture, CCI allows you to directly create and use containerized workloads using the console, kubectl, or Kubernetes API and pay only for the resources consumed by using this workload. Let's start with a simple demo for CCI. First of all, navigate to service list and then cloud container instance under container service catalog. Now this is the CCI dashboard which shows you the overview information. Let's delete the CCI instance that I provisioned before. Click create deployment button in the right corner. Change the default CCI instance name as you like. Choose the namespace that we created before. Specify pod numbers and specifications. Choose open source image, specify image version, container name, resource limitation, any advanced configuration and then click next. Choose public internet access mode, specify service name and select ELB. Here we create a new ELB instance. Here we choose shared load balancer, select VPC and subnet, network traffic Specify ELB instance name, then click next, review and click submit. Now back to CCI instance portal, choose ELB instance name, specify ELB port, access port, container port, ingress controller configuration and then click next. Keep default and click next. Review and submit.
back to instance portal to monitor the provisioning progress. After instance starts running, we check its health status and navigate to network management and copy its access URL and then see if it can be accessed or not. We can monitor CCI instance logs, events and status by linking to application operation management AOM service. Here, you can also customize the monitoring dashboard. You can see the container logs output. Now let's move to the second scenario to lead you with a real world experience on Huawei Cloud Application Service Mesh. Application Service Mesh ASM is a service mesh platform developed by Huawei Cloud based on Istio. It seamlessly interconnects with Huawei Cloud Cloud Container Engine CCE and enterprise grade Kubernetes cluster service with better usability, reliability and visualization. ASM provides you with out of box features and an enhanced user experience. This slide is showing you the demo application book info. We will then show you the grayscale release features on this demo application. Book info is a heterogeneous application that consists of several microservices written in different languages. These microservices do not depend on a service mesh. They demonstrate a typical scenario where a service mesh can be used. That is, when an application consists of multiple services using multiple languages and with certain service having multiple versions. The book info application consists of four independent services. Product page. This service calls the details and review services to generate a page. Details. This service contains book information. Reviews. This service contains book reviews. It also calls the rating service ratings this service contain book rating information based on reviews the review service has three versions the v1 version does not call the rating service the v2 version calls the rating service and uses one to five stars to show ratings and the v3 version 
calls the rating service and uses 1 to 5 red stars to show ratings to demonstrate traffic switching between grayscale versions this section takes v2 rating with black stars and v3 rating with red stars of the review service as an example running the book info application with asm does not require any changes on the application itself simply configure and run the services in the service mesh enabled environment that is inject an envoy sidecar into each service pod the specific commands and configurations required in this process are determined by the runtime environment but the development results are consistent as shown in the right hand second half architecture now let's navigate to asm it's under container service catalog as well and then it will show you the asm dashboard let's subscribe to an asm instance choose dedicated instance model and attach the cc cluster which need to do service mesh management choose pay per use model and edition specify istio management scale ha mode and login credentials click submit after review wait until it finishes the provision navigate to service list on the left panel click experience service mesh specify the port number you will see that demo application is added into service list portal wait until the application model turns to a healthy status Now click the access URL to open this demo application website. Now Let's navigate to grayscale release menu in the left panel and create a new release. Select release service. Here we choose the reviews model for evaluating the Istio function. Specify task name, version, keep others default and click next. choose the image tag which are mapping to different application version and click deploy
wait until all steps are in running and deliver policy. You can specify how much of the weight percentage of V3 review model and then click deliver policy. Now let's try to refresh this demo website to see the version 1 and version 3 traffic hit ratio. Then you can monitor the traffic statistics for version 1 and version 3. Now let's take over all the traffic. Just imagine that all version 3 functions test fine and we want to take offline version 1. Click take over all traffic on version 3. Now let's go back to the demo application website. Try to refresh. You can see review 1 and review 2 are touching all version 3 sub module. Monitor version 1 and version 3 traffic statistics again. Keep refreshing demo application website. You can see that all version 1 traffic is going down till 0 and version 3 going all the way. When we can make sure all traffic comes the right way to version 3, we can offline version 1. Now let's move to MCP introduction. MCP, multi-cloud container platform is developed by Huawei Cloud based on years of experience in the cloud container field and community advanced cluster federation technologies. It provides multi-cloud and hybrid cloud containerized solution for unified cluster management across clouds and unified development and traffic distribution of application across clusters. It not only resolves multi-cloud disaster recovery but also plays an important role in traffic sharing, decoupling of data storage and service processing. 
decoupling of development and production environments and flexible allocation of computing resources refer to mcp key functionality unified cluster management mcp leverages cluster federation to implement unified management of clusters of different cloud service providers as a unified entry for multiple cluster mcp supports dynamic cluster access and global cluster monitoring dashboard which facilitates cluster deployment release and onm global application management mcp manages kubernetes cluster in different regions or clouds and supports full life cycle management of applications across clusters including deployment deletion and upgrade by using standard cluster federation apis in kubernetes cross cluster auto scaling mcp supports cross cluster auto scaling policies to balance the pod distribution in each cluster and implement global load balancing you do not need to worry about horizontal scaling of cluster nodes mcp automatically scales in or out resources required by the applications based on the application load cross cluster service discovery mcp supports federated service creation and cross cluster service discovery it implements service region affinity based on the proximity access principle in this way when a service is deployed in multiple regions the one in the region where the user is located is preferentially accessed reducing network latency standards compliance mcp is compatible with the latest federation architecture of kubernetes community and provides kubernetes federation apis and kubernetes apis you can use the kubernetes command line and apis to deploy containerized applications without modifying any service code interconnection with huawei cloud services mcp seamlessly interconnects with huawei cloud application operation management aom and container ops to implement multi cloud container monitoring and devops based containerized pipeline capabilities from source code to image deployment mcp provides three types of networking solutions hybrid cloud multi cloud and multi region you can add huawei cloud cce clusters kubernetes clusters of other public clouds such as alibaba and tencent cloud and on premise kubernetes clusters to mcp for unified management mcp manages huawei cloud cc clusters and kubernetes clusters in on premise data centers in a unified manner mcp manages huawei cloud cc clusters and kubernetes clusters of other cloud service providers such as alibaba cloud and tencent cloud in a unified manner mcp designed for scenarios like following traffic sharing in industries such as e-commerce video on live and education traffic surges in a specific period due to flash sales live interactions score query or registrations to cope up with the impact of traffic spikes and improve service stability mcp provides cross cloud auto scaling based on traffic policies with cross cloud and cross cluster scaling for application instances and unified management of application traffic mcp implements elastic load balancing of traffic across different clouds you can configure a traffic policy when deploying an application across clouds if the private cloud cluster or clusters of public cloud are overloaded due to traffic spikes mcp flexibly schedules services to other public clusters based on the traffic policy this policy can prevent the system from breaking down due to the traffic burst cross cloud disaster recovery to cope up with failures of a single cloud mcp allows instances of an application to run on multiple clouds when one of the cloud is down other available clouds will take over instances and traffic from this cloud within seconds in this way 
service reliability is greatly improved. In addition, compared with traditional multi-cloud and hybrid cloud solution, containers can be scaled within seconds, eliminating the need to maintain redundant resources for DR and reducing the construction and O&M cost of infrastructure resources. Decouple of storage and service processing. For security purpose, users in the finance and security industries require that core services run on their private cloud clusters. With Huawei Cloud MCP, you can store sensitive data in the private cloud clusters and run common services on the public cloud to ensure data security. Decouple of development and production environments. For network security in continuous integration with CI or continuous delivery CD scenarios, some users want to deploy development and test environments in the private cloud cluster and the production environment in the public cloud clusters. With Huawei Cloud MCP, you can manage clusters where the deployment, test and production environment run in a unified manner. MCP works with container ops to implement service rollout by pipeline, improving the code delivery and deployment efficiency. Flexible application of computing resource. Computing tasks in industries such as AI, genomic, sequencing and video processing rely on GPUs, bare metal servers and other special hardware. With MCP, you can deploy compute intensive applications in the cloud and common applications in the private cloud or other clouds, avoiding high cost caused by large scale use of special hardware. Now let's drill down into the real demo of ASM. Navigate to ASM under containers service catalog. Now let's drill down into the real demo of ASM. Navigate to ASM under containers service catalog. First of all, let's add new Kubernetes cluster. Click add cluster. Let's add Huawei Cloud CCE first. Choose CCE instance that can discover automatically. Specify a cluster name, access mode, and click OK. It will take some time to add into MCP management platform. We can see that we have an error during CCE cluster discovery. Now let's go to CCE portal to check CCE instance status to see what was causing this issue. We can see that CCE cube API server is not accessed by public accessing. So we bind a new EIP to that.
After making CCE Cube API Server API changes, we are back to MCP portal and try to rediscover. Now it can add the CC cluster successfully. Click OK and then MCP will automatically configure the CC cluster. After we finish adding CCE cluster, let's try to add a GKE cluster. Click Google Cloud and then click Next. Here we need to choose GKE Cube Config file. Let's export Cube Config file from GKE. Connect GKE instance using Cloud Shell. Authenticate and generate cube config file. Download this config file. Try to rename it into a YAML format. Back to MCP console and choose the cube config file we exported from GKE instance just now.
specify cluster name and click OK. GKE cluster will be discovered and added into MCP console automatically. Now let's add another Kubernetes cluster that self build on on-premises. Choose on-premise cluster, click next. A similar process as before. Exporting kubecon file from on-premise Kubernetes cluster and add it into MCP cluster discovery procedure. After that, we can see all three clusters are added into MCP console. By clicking access console, you will drill down into specific cluster directly. It will turn out new sub panels on the left and the following functionalities about the specified cluster. You can check cluster nodes and namespaces. For example, we can try a new namespace and delete it. All operations and configuration will sync to specified cluster. You can also download, copy and view cluster configuration using YAML format. Manage API resources labels as well. We can also monitor cluster status by enabling Prometheus plugin.
the navigate to deployments menu and you can see that deployment that inherited the configuration from this cluster we can see other api resource adhere to this cluster that can be monitored and managed by mcp such as pv network config map secret and so on We can filter and drill down into different clusters on the top drop down menu. You can see now that we can go to Google GKE cluster and can check the status, operate it accordingly. Now let's go outside of cluster management portal and create a federated deployments built by kubernetes federation technology in the backend create a deployment specify workload name you can choose any cluster you want to deploy for pod deployment mode we have two options default or by weight if we choose by weight mode then you can specify how much percentage of workload that reside on different clusters here we choose default mode and deploy one pod on each cluster add open source image specify image configuration customize for each cluster here we specify different configuration on Huawei cloud CCE cluster and Google GKE cluster by showing different website Keep others default, add environment variables for Huawei Cloud CCE and Google Cloud GKE. After configuring all the mandatory steps, this federated deployment is on the way to each of the cluster. We can drill down to check the deployment progress.
Now you can see this deployment is running on all the clusters. Now let's add a federated service for this deployment. Click add service, specify a service name. Choose access type as ELB mode, configure ELB access port and container port and remember to link deployment. Choose all cluster, keep others default and click OK. You can review the status. Click cluster console on the top and drill down into different cluster management console. For example, for Huawei Cloud CCE cluster. Open its service menu and find out the service name as we specified just now. Try to access this URL. Now you can see the CCE testing website. Access the URL for GKE as well. You can see the demo website. There is no public IP assigned to the on-premise cluster. So we cannot open demo website URL. Next step, we can assign a domain name to ELB endpoint by leveraging DNS, HA or round robin feature. We can specify traffic to different backend cluster and you can see the GIF animation on the right. Click next and you can see for DNF configuration you can choose different type of HA mode, adaptive mode and custom mode. Here we choose adaptive mode and you can see the right simulation. Click create. 
as of now we only support chinese regional dns distribution so we cannot deliver a real demo but this is to show you the concept We can also modify the pod number on the fly to change the cluster deployment. For example, add CCE pod into 3. You can monitor pod provision status and if something is wrong, you can see the log file and events. Go to domain name configuration again, you can see that we chose adaptive DNS mode. So the traffic is automatically loaded into different backend cluster by weight. Let's play another scenario. For example, we have some pod and deployment that configured on premise. We want to make a single cluster deploy as federated deployment. Choose one of the deployment, click more and then federate. We can deploy it across all three clusters. Click next and keep everything default. You can see the federated deployment status. You can see the federated icon showing on deployment name accordingly. Now let's simulate another scenario. For example, I want to clone one deployment from on-premise cluster into Google Cloud GKE cluster. Choose pod 01 deployment on premise for example, click more, then clone, choose GKE cluster and specify pod numbers. Click next and keep all default. You can monitor the cloning status. You can see the deployment is running on GKE cluster with two pods. You can easily deploy this clone deployment into Huawei Cloud CCE cluster by just changing the pod numbers.
monitoring the deployment cloning status events etc You can see it's cloning to Huawei Cloud CC as well. Now let's simulate the last scenario. Move workload from one cluster to another cluster. For example, you want to migrate to on-premise deployment onto cloud or migrate your workload to different clouds. Here we choose web1 deployment and click more then migrate the similar process as we did before. You can monitor the status, the deployment is migrating into Huawei Cloud CCE and GKE cluster, nothing on on-premise Kubernetes cluster. You can review some other federated functions like federated PV, monitoring center, configuration center, federated cluster backups, etc. You can try them by yourselves. Now let's recap. Huawei Cloud offers you different options for container service. You can deploy manage Kubernetes cluster by yourself. You can use hosting Kubernetes cluster on Huawei Cloud or you can choose serverless mode container service directly. Huawei Cloud providing you more value added features like service mesh and multi cloud container management platform based on Kubernetes Federation project and this is truly first worldwide Kubernetes Federation solution. For other features and introductions, please look out for more demo videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.